Hey Poosh, welcome back to Studio Kila. My name is Bridget O'Carroll and I have a five minute Pilates arms workout for you. This one is going to focus on posture, opening up our shoulders, opening up our chest. So you can either do this with no equipment, which I'll be doing today, or you can add on some weights. Keep it pretty light, one, two, three pounds. And we're going to start with a reach and rotation. Before we start, roll your shoulders down away from your ears, reach out, palms facing back behind you, fingertips are energetic or they're grabbing onto your weights and slowly squeeze your elbows back behind you. Think about opening up your chest here, squeezing your shoulder blades back behind you, reach and rotate, squeeze. We are working our slow twitch muscles today. That's what the Kila method is all about. So it's all about slow, controlled movement. We're maintaining tension over time. So we're not breaking between reps or between sets. We are active the entire time. Think about this movement you're doing here, squeezing your shoulder blades back behind you, actively squeezing until you almost start shaking, reaching, actively fingertips energy is coming right out of them squeeze reach and rotate gorgeous we're breathing here think about exhaling on the way in <sighs> inhaling as you reach nice if this is bothering your rotator cuff that's right where your shoulder meets the socket all right you can lose the twist and just reach out and squeeze back in. Otherwise your palms pivot, they face back behind you. We have a shoulder rotation, another 10 seconds. Your elbows are going to squeeze into your waistline. I count you down into every single move that we do. You've got four, not yet, three, two. It's one, elbows are in tight towards your waistline. You can either stay kneeling or sit back on your heels if that feels good to you. Keep your elbows connected in towards your waistline as you come out just as far as your shoulders will allow you to while connecting elbows into your waist. Come back, palms stop directly in front of your elbows, come out again. So another angle, sitting straight up, core is nice and tight, elbows stay connected this entire time here. And you're going to start to feel this heat right on top of your rotator cuff, that's right where your arm is meeting the socket, this weird type of heat uh, as you strengthen your rotator cuff, it's really gonna help open up your shoulders here. If you ever have back pain when you're on your phones, when you're working at your desk, this is one of my absolute favorite movements to do to relieve that pain and just to work on shoulders and posture over time. Hold it out in five, four more. It's three, two, it's one. Hold it out, rotate your palms to face upwards. Again, you can be holding weights or fingertips are active. Rotate down towards the floor. Rotate up, rotate down, nice. Stay with me. We have a goal post coming up. Either stay where you are or you can even do this against a wall. Five, four more, it's three, two, it's one. Goal post your arms. So think about allowing every joint to come against the wall or you can just imagine it's there. I want elbows, shoulders, and wrists connected. As you reach up, hands stay wide, come back to your goal post. This wall makes it a lot tougher because that wall is a lot further away than we realize. You can also do it without a wall, reaching up and down, but think about opening up your chest here, squeezing your shoulder blades back together and squeezing your core. Your core is active no matter what you are doing in Pilates, <sighs> moving up and down. We have one more move before we finish. I hope you're already feeling a little bit taller, a little bit more open. Hold at the bottom for your half bow in five, four more, three, two, it's one. Hold at the bottom, palms come down, stop. Palms in line with your elbows, reach up. It's down, back up. You can kneel, you can stand, you can sit for any of these movements. Wherever you are, I want your torso stacked on top. So shoulders on top of hips, core is tight. Nice. Moving down and up. Gorgeous. Before we officially finish, I want to finish on a hold. 
in 10. You've got nine, eight seconds of six, five more, four, you've got three, two, it's one. Reach your arms out nice and long. You're immediately going to feel tension building right in the tops of your shoulders. Kneel, stand, sit, do what you need to do to get through this. We've got 15 seconds in this hold. Feel the spurn. It's the good kind. Okay, let it get tough. Let it feel heavy. You get to release in, release in six, five, four more. It's three, two, it's one. Release it. Amazing job. I hope you feel so much more open, so good to do in the middle of your workday. Whenever you're feeling any tightness in your back and your shoulders, Again, my name is Bridget O'Carroll. Thank you for joining Studio Kila and Poosh today. You can find us on Instagram at Studio Kila.